Hi guys, this is Megan with the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I'm going to do an unboxing video with you guys. My husband just bought me the Excalibur food dehydrator. I am so excited. I've wanted this dehydrator for so long. We've had a really small, really cheap one for a lot of years where you it, it won't dry things evenly so I have to like rotate the trays and like turn them different ways. And it's a giant pain in the butt so I am so excited to have this Excalibur is going to do so much more food at once. I'm going to be able to dehydrate way more apples in the fall. Um, that's one of my family's favorite things that I dehydrate. So I thought I would unbox it with you guys and kind of show you what it looks like. And then later on, I'll hopefully have some more dehydrating recipe videos for, for you. But this has actually been sitting in the hallway for a couple weeks because I've been not feeling very well but I also really wanted to film this for everyone on here. So I'm finally getting around to doing this and then maybe I can start dehydrating things. So let's get right into this video. Got this ginormous box here. So I'm gonna try to do this so you guys can see what's going on at the same time. My daughter is right next to me on the couch sleeping, my, my three-year-old, so we'll see how long she actually stays asleep. And uh, my 10-month-old is sitting in her high chair eating some food. So sorry about all the backgrounds. Vivian, you're so loud. Here we go. So this is just what it looks like from the top. So I'm gonna set this over here so I can pull this out. Oh, it's heavy. All right, there we go. I'm gonna pull the plastic off. I've only seen this in pictures. I've never seen one in real life. Got a little piece of tape over the dials here. Wow. So, looks like this is probably the front. Okay. Yep, so the front comes off here. And then we've got uh, some ads for other stuff. We've got Excalibur Nourish Life Dehydration Guide. That'll be nice. Maybe instructions, probably, let's see. Instructions, storage and reconstitution, preparation, jerky. That's so exciting. I've been wanting to learn how to make jerky for so long. Um, beef, game, poultry, fish, jerky, raw and living foods, other dehydrated uses, other other recipes. Oh, this is going to be really great. So just read through this book before I start dehydrating stuff. So, and then it's got all these trays. Let's see, it's got one, two, three, four, nine. It has nine trays. And these are quite large. My other dehydrator that I've been using for years has like, I think five trays and they're like half that size. So this is gonna be able to do so much more. All right, let's put this back on here. Not totally sure if I'm doing this right. Probably should read the instructions. So, it's got back here the cord to plug it into the wall, obviously. And then on, on the top here it has different temperature settings. So my old, really cheap one has one setting for everything. So some things that are a little more fragile, it tends to burn. So you really have to make sure you're oops, um, rotating the trays. But this one has different temperatures. So like herbs, you do at 105. Yogurt, making yogurt, 115. Fruits at 135. Jerky, 165. And there's a few other ones. So it's got a temperature control dial here and a timer control here. So that will be super nice. Then if I want to like have it keep going into the night a little ways, but I don't feel like I'll be able to remember to get up and turn it off, I can set the timer for how long it's supposed to go. So this is so exciting. 
So that's the Excalibur food hydrator. Not, not terribly much to show in the unboxing video, but I'll definitely be having some different dehydrating recipes coming out. I especially want to show you guys the jerky after I make some, so I'm really excited about that. But hopefully you guys enjoy just seeing like a little sneak peek of what this really fancy dehydrator looks like. And I, will see, I will see you in the next video. Bye.